Well, howdy everybody and how's it going? My name is Tyler Anderson and I'm here on the Lucky Tackle Box channel to bring you guys another episode of Outside the Box. In this series, we take a few short minutes to teach you guys how to catch more bass throughout the year. And today, I'm gonna be explaining to you guys why it might be incredibly beneficial for you to switch to a finesse tactic to catch more bass in the late fall, early winter. Let's get started. Now, there are many different finesse tactics you can use. There's, there's shaky heads, there's Ned rigs, there's drop shots, hair jigs, everything in between that can be thrown on a spinning rod like this. But one of my favorites for the late fall, early winter time period is a drop shot. And that is purely because of the fish catching ability and basically fish attraction it has. And the reason why I love the drop shot so much over the Ned rig and the shaky head is because the, the two that I mentioned, the Ned rig and shaky head, are purely or almost always bottom techniques. So the fish have to be looking down or on the bottom in order to catch those fish. But I have found so many situations when the water gets cold, you have a cold front hit, high bluebird skies, those fish will suspend off the bottom. And the only way, in my opinion, to catch those is the jerk bait, which is not usually a deep diving presentation, or a drop shot, which can be thrown. I've thrown it up in upwards of 100 feet of water before. And the drop shot is cool because you can have the leader length be any amount you want. And so it really depends on the cover you're fishing. I've had drop shots called the shaky shot that have a two or three inch leaders, and then I've had drop shots that have three foot leaders, depending on how high the fish are suspending. So if you have electronics, you'll be able to tell exactly how high the, the fish are suspending in the water column. But if you don't, I would implore you just to go with a good foot and a half to two foot drop shot leader. And so the reason why I throw a drop shot is because like I said, these fish are getting finicky. They don't want to chase down a meal, but if you can shake this thing right in their face, which is the, really the point of a drop shot is to shake it right there, um, these fish can't resist it. Now I get a lot of questions as to what baits I throw on a drop shot. And I think the two main presentations, the first one being a wacky rig on here. This is a uh, Robo Worm in Margarita Me Litter, my favorite color of all time. It's kind of a, a brownish purple. And the other presentation that I'll throw is a shad presentation. So it really depends whether your fish are eating bluegills, which I think as much as like a worm doesn't really look like a bluegill, I think that's the closest you can get. It's either that or if your fish are heavily feeding on shad, something like the Beast Coast uh, Flick Shake here is such an incredible, incredible bait. And to kind of wrap up, the gear that I throw a drop shot on when I'm throwing it out there and basically dragging it back in uh, is a seven foot medium light spinning rod with any size spinning reel. I like to stick to a 200 or 2000 or 300 or 3000 size spinning reel with 15 pound braid to oftentimes I throw an eight to 10 pound fluorocarbon leader on here. Usually the length of the rod is how long my leader is, um, but sometimes I'll drop down to six pound, even four pound line, depending on how finicky and tough these fish are to catch. Now hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My goal is to teach you how to catch more fish at all times of the year, and especially this time in the late fall, early winter, and that is why I stick with finesse tactics. Now, if you guys missed the last video, it'll be linked over here in this corner, and we'll see you guys on the next episode of Outside the Box.